Lee Marvin. Uh, I was interviewing him. I was interviewing Lee in uh, the 70s. Um, and uh, Lee, very dignified guy. We showed up at a bar and uh, we talked for a little while. And he had had a couple of drinks, but he wasn't drinking really. And uh, I didn't get much from him, you know. Really, it was not enough to do a piece. So I said, look, man, we need to get together again. He said, well, come down. We really hit it off. And uh, he said, come down to my place in Arizona, Tucson. And we'll hang out there. And you can finish the piece and we'll have some fun. So uh, I said, all right, great, man. So I called him up and uh, made the date and went down, flew down there. And he picks me up, you know, in his Jeep. And he says, uh, he shows up at the airport. And, uh, you know, he was the kind of guy, it was no nonsense. He picked me up himself. He didn't have some guy pick me up. And we're driving back through Tucson to go out to the desert to his place. And he, uh, he says, well, uh, he says, I gotta tell you, Bob, I'm not drinking. Uh, so, uh, you know, I hope that you won't mind that. I quit drinking. I said, no, it's fine, I don't care. And he said, uh, well, um, there's no reason, though, Bob, that uh, you can't drink. I don't see any reason that just because I'm not drinking, you can't drink. And I said, uh, no, no, it's all right, man, I don't have to drink. And he said, no, I really think it's not right of me as a guest. So anyway, we stop at this wine store, this big sale on wine. I thought, uh-oh. So he says, just wait here in the Jeep, I'll, I'll be right out. So he goes in, he's in there about a half hour. The sun's boiling down. <laughs> Maybe he's gotten lost. He comes out, he's got two guys with uh, giant, <laughs> he's got giant gurneys filled with box after box of wine, you know. And I, he said, uh, well, they had some on sale. You know, it seemed wrong not to buy a lot since, you know, it was on sale. I mean, not that I'm drinking it. So I thought, uh-oh, it's going to be one of those kind of weekends. So we got back to his place, and he said, what? And we were sitting around his swimming pool. His wife came out, Pam. She was great. Lee had married her after he uh, broke up with uh, Linda, what's her name, who did the palimony suit against him. And uh, he basically won that suit. He only had to pay her like 200 bucks or something. It was ridiculous. Um, but anyway, uh, we sat around his his pool and he started telling me stories about being in the Marines and what happened and that pretty soon we had drunk quite a few bottles of wine. In fact, I think we killed something like 17 bottles of wine in two days. And I could hardly believe it. So the first night I go to bed, it's 4 a.m. He puts me in this wonderful guest house he has. He says, well, good night, Bob. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, I go to bed and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm going to die, you know. And uh, so I, I go to bed. And I fall asleep, and I'm like, oh, thank God, I'm asleep. And then I hear a knock on the window, and it seems like only a few minutes has passed. And that's because really only a few minutes had passed. And there was Lee at the window saying, time to get up. Time to get up. Let's get out. We got a lot to do, Bob. We got a lot to do. And I said, what are you doing? We just went to bed an hour ago. He said, I know, but we don't want to miss sunrise here in the desert. You got to have that. And he said, plus, and he has several guns. And he said, let's go out in the desert. I just want to show you how to shoot the, out in the desert. And he'd bought, he'd brought uh, many more bottles of wine to start off the morning. And we went out in the desert and fired away at various things, you know. And uh, it was just a, a wonderful time. We had a great time. When he came to New York, he always uh, called me and, and took me out. And uh, he paid for stuff. Hardly anybody I ever interviewed ever paid for anything. In fact, he might be the only one. Now, the only other guy that ever bought me a drink when I was a journalist. And, and we we're supposed to buy them the drinks, so that's okay. But, but who was polite enough to do it was Pete Rose, of all people. He insisted on paying for everything. Must have been a good day at the old ballpark. Yeah, that's right. I think all the, uh, all the teams came in that day. Yeah, Pete was a great guy, too. Crazy, but, uh, but, but great.